Okay, this is part four of the discussion, um, the vid discussion videos on Reality Factory 2 um, and the Reality Factory 2, Reality Factory 1 compatibility script set um, using layer one of Reality Factory 2. Um, right now I would like to discuss um, a problem and possible solutions to this problem. The problem has been explored over the last two videos. Um, this particular problem is quite a terrible one. You have content and you need to edit that content and tweak that content. For instance, the menu. You want to be able to s your changes to the menu and how they will affect the menu without having to reload your game um, every time you want to see that. That, quite frankly, is ridiculous. Um, there are several solutions to this problem. One solution is to create a menu editor. Um, the menu editor could simply be standard program, um, lets you move the elements around, um, change them, change their bitmaps, export it to an any file, import it from an any file. Um, that's a very good solution. Um, but and we may end up implementing it in Reality Factory 2, but for now we have implemented a different solution. Um, allow me to show you what solution we have to, to implement. Ah, get back down there. Okay, so now when we last left it, the main still wasn't right. We need to make move it up a little bit and to the left a little bit. By the way, when I said right, I meant left that time in the video. Sorry about that. Um, so, let's see here. Go into here. This is, again, the main title. We want it left, so we'll decrease the x value to, let's try, uh, 60. And we want it up a little, so let's decrease the y value to, say, let's try 115. And let's save the file, and oh, it updated. Now, uh, and I agree that auto-reloading of content is the way of the future. I had been wanting that for Reality Factory 2 for quite some time, but before implementing the Python scripting, I had thought it impractical, and my skills weren't up to snuff to develop that at that point. Um, however, now that I have rewritten it with Python, um, I have decided to do the auto reload of content. This doesn't isn't just for any files. This is for graphics. This is for sounds. This is for models. Pretty much any resource you use. Um, I'm going to try <laughs> to get it even for levels and scripts. But those are the type of things that you really well picture a scenario where you were running around and edited the level and edited a wall where you were running around. It just wouldn't be pretty, but we'll try to figure out something. Um, and surprisingly, I haven't noticed any performance hit from this. Um, I would like to thank Gekito for bringing that back to mind. I had forgotten about it, um, and it's really a very good feature. Um, and uh, we look forward to extending it. We have also extended this to the Python scripting, um, so you can register a file um, of its state, basically register what we call a checkpoint of the file, and then you can check it whenever you want, and if it's modified, you can decide what action to take. Um, so it's very flexible. It's not just static, except for the textures and the resources that RF2 itself handles. Um, it's not this static, you can do this, but you can't do that. Um, I'm going to cut the video again.